There it goes. Oh, she's already got it. I got it. Oh, man. Got two different days of sheephead fishing combined into one here because one of the days was not all that great. So that's what you're going to see right off the bat. But then I'm going to jump into the second day of fishing. Decided to just throw it all into one video so I don't have some fish catches that just never get to see the light of day after filming them. Caught a good bit of fish in this video. Hope you enjoy it. There he is. That one's a lot nicer than the one I had earlier. He's probably 17 inches or so. Good one. Got him on the jig. I really need to retie that leader, but I was being lazy because fish haven't been biting. But now I know they're biting, so I'm definitely going to make that a lot prettier and more than 14 inches long. So you'll see me using forward sonar in some of these clips to find the sheep head on the pilings, but I know that's not realistic. Not everybody has forward sonar, so I made sure to do some fishing without it. And in another video that I'm going to upload later on, my brother was fishing with me. He doesn't have any electronics on the kayak he was using, and he was catching more fish than I was. So definitely not necessary. Still there. Hopefully he is. Felt like a decent bite, but it's hard to say. A lot of little ones here. Got it again. Not a big one. Small one. But all right, got our first one. He's, I mean, he's he's big enough to keep. You know what? Let me see how long he is. He is. Mm, no, nah, he's only like 12 and a half. We'll put him back. You'll notice what I'm doing here is just letting out a couple feet of line, stopping the bait, wait for a few seconds, do it again. That's just a good way to figure out if there's a fish suspended anywhere on that column. Typically, if they're cooperative, they're going to get the bait within a few seconds of you stopping it and holding it in place. Got one going right here. But... Really know where he's at. Guess not right there. Oh, did he catch it? Yeah, he caught it. Caught it going down. Got him. It's a good one. Real good one, I think. Yep, it's a pretty nice one. Oh yeah, nice fish. Nice fish. Get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Oh, he's hooked really well. Nice. It's a good sheep head right there. It took some prospecting to finally find one, but I did find one. Oh yeah, he wasn't coming off. Not a chance. You can see that jig absolutely popped him. Yeah, that's a real good one. I'm gonna have to grab him by the eyeballs, unfortunately. See how long he is, real quick. I'd say he's probably 17. Oh, yeah, he's, he's 18 and a half. It's a good one. Okay, so I'm gonna get him unhooked and bled and get him on ice. 
Okay. Okay, so what I'm fishing here, this is a Penn Slammer DX uh, 3500. It's the Slammer 4, and then I got that on a Carnage 3, uh, medium heavy. It's a, let's see what it's rated for, 15 to 40 pound braid, fast action, seven foot. I'm fishing, I believe this is 30 pound braid to a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. And we got this little sheephead jig on here. I don't think it matters too much which jig you go with as long as it's the fixed hook and not the swiveling hook. There's some that have a swiveling hook, and those are not good. All we're doing, taking a fiddler crab. Typically, I pinch that bigger claw off, thread him on the jig, and sheephead's probably going to take him off anyway, but you just keep feeding them. I cut this one down as short as I could because there's no stabilization, so it'll make you dizzy, but here it is. Lost that one. All right, I just missed one right here. Let's see if I can get him. I don't think he's very big. Try for him again. Let him chew on it for a while, too. Yep, he's on it again. He might have already cleaned me out. Oh, there he goes. Oh, my God, he's not that bad. Nice. We will take him. Fishing is kind of slow, and I don't have a whole lot of bait left. But that is number two. He's not that bad at all. See that jig got him pretty good. When you do get them on the jig, I think you typically get them pretty good, but yeah, that's all the bait I got left. Not much. Yeah, I mean, not a great big one, but not a small one either. He's probably, probably 14 inches or so. Okay, time to get another. Crab population is dwindling in my boat. A lot of small sheep head around today. I think that's typically the case here smaller average size. I've caught nice ones here though. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Man, it looks like oh here we go. That's a nice one. Just watched him come bite it. Thought he was nice at least. I don't see him anymore. Okay, looks like there's some on this column. Oh gosh, he got it on the way down. Oh, he's... Let him chew on it. I think he might have got me there. Yeah, this is an aggressive one. Okay, 
here we go. Let's try this again. I think he's pretty close to the surface too. Yeah, I still see him. Let's see if he comes up and gets it. He's right there under it. Yep, there he is. Oh, missed him. Come on, fish. Let's try this again. Oh yeah, he's already on it again. Got him. Oh, 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 on the piling, on the piling. Top of the head, sheephead. And I'm getting a phone call. We got all kinds of stuff going on. Not a bad one. Probably gonna take him today. He's another one, 14 inches or so. Let's see. I got him in the eyeball. I'll tell you how long this one is, real quick. I think this is the smallest of the three. He is right at 14 so the other ones are bigger i got one that's probably 16. okay nice all right well i'm, I'm catching them using a half ounce uh i think it's a three quarter I, it's yeah. it doesn't matter all that much but no. the jig the jig no. isn't bad is it no not at all um uh, i think it's I, nice I think it's for when they're suspended on the piling All right, I'm watching my forward sonar. Definitely cheating, but could easily be done without. I'm just honestly trying to learn more about the uh, about what these fish are doing. Which forward sonar is a great tool for. I'm looking at one down kind of deeper, I think. Yep, yep, there he goes. He's biting it. Oh, oh no. I think I just cut my uh, jig off on a barnacle. That's frustrating. Oh yeah, that is a slice thing tapers down to a little point. <clears throat> All right, let's get another jig on here. I got one more of that jig that I was using. There's a lot of fish on this set. I'm probably going to use up the rest of my bait here. Wish I had a little more. Okay. Thread that bad boy on there. Uh, I bet we'll get bit pretty quick. Let's see if I can tell where he's at. I can't see them super clearly on this uh, forward sonar. I'll catch glimpses of them, but with them being <clears throat> in the current and that concrete, oh gosh, he's already got it. I got him. Oh man, he had me all around it. That's a tiny one there. That's a much smaller one. He had me all wrapped up. They're eating it better now though. Small fish, but I still got him. And what's crazy is that's probably a legal sized fish for sure. Running low, running low. Yeah, there's so much bait fish on the so many bait fish on the sonar that I can't even I can't even tell where the fish are but I know there's several I'll drop that down a little ways yeah they're already biting it wow oh gosh there's so many right here missed that one these fish are fired up Oh gosh. Bit it on the drop again. They're staring at it. It must be must be too dead. Yeah, they're chasing it. That's crazy. Oh, they're chasing my jig head. I don't have a crap. Got a little guy on there. Probably gonna get 
bit pretty instantly. Probably on the drop. Where are they at? are moving around a whole lot. I might have shut them down. Yeah, sheephead can be pretty smart sometimes. When I would start on a new set of columns and there were a few fish there, I would get bit pretty much instantly. But at some point, you could still see the fish sitting there. But if you've messed with them for a little bit, they would shut off and you had to move. There's a bunch of them right here. I should get bit pretty quick. Looks like a good school of them on this front column, but I can't tell for sure. They don't look that big, but most of them are pretty small right now. I'm just using up the last of my bait. This is a big old crab though, so if there is a big one, it should get his attention. like some right here. Let's see. Yep. Did he already clean that out? No way. There he's coming back. Big one. Big one. There we go. That's a solid one there. Let's see if we can get him in the net. Yeah, there we go. That's a good one. That's a real nice one. Heck yeah. He's probably 20 inches. Heck yeah. And I'm starting to run very, very low on bait. So I'm glad to, glad to grab a nice one. You can see I have one, two, three, four, five crabs left, six, but they're, they're all very small. So we'll see, we'll see what we can do with that. But yeah, that's a good one. Yep, 20, 20 and a half. It's a right nice one. He's dead now. Let's cut his gills. Oh, 
Okay. Crab supply dwindling. Man, that paint sure does match that crab though. That's pretty neat. Okay. Got another crab threaded on. I gotta see what's going on up here. Fishing's pretty good. Fishing's pretty good. He's all over it. Come back for it, buddy. Yep, there he is. Yep, yep. Little baby. That's what I get for using a crab that's half an inch long. He's actually not that small, but he's going back because we have several nice ones. There he is. Oh, oh, still got the crab. That's amazing that how what all he was doing, and yeah, you still got a whole crab. Oh yeah, I can see it. I keep on wondering why I don't see them. Cause they're right on the, like you set the hook and you, you know, there's your jig. Uh oh. Yes. Eh, he's not bad. <laughs> 